lady who's entering, he starts to, she starts to thank him until she sees his face. Mr. Godfrey's nose is incredibly large. It takes up a third of his face. Mr. Godfrey straightens his stooped shoulders, gives a polite smile, and tips his hat. The lady loses her smile, turns, and walks away. Junior high school. A group of teens from the high school track team stand at their bus stop. One girl, Elizabeth Izzy Bassan, shrugs her shoulders and sighs. Oh no, I love my sweatshirt. She takes off running. Her team makes some error, rolls her eyes. Could you hold up for just a minute? Ah, uh, you see my friend. Uh, All right, I'll give her 30 seconds. The bus driver reaches for the lever that closes the door. She's, she spots the empty seat next to Mr. Godfrey, walks over and plops herself down. Uh, Izzy boards the same bus, whispers thank you to the driver, makes her way to the front seats. Some of her male teammates make remarks about her. Yo, she's so weird. <laughs> Where does she think she is? What a freak. It's like 90 degrees. Yep. You don't make hills like that one anymore. Well, Mr. G, he manages it somehow. <laughs> yeah, well, Superman, or should I say, Super Snaz, lost his powers. He needs a new cape. <laughs> such disrespect for such a nice man. Why do you go to school? You are a waste of the teacher's time. You have such a small little brain. Actually, when the Scarecrow went to Oz, they wouldn't let him in. So he never got one. Izzy gives a pointing gesture of approval to Samara as she, as she leaves the bus. I'm awful sorry, miss. Is that your little dog? Izzy cheeks are stained with tears and she can't speak. She shakes her head no to the man. I didn't have time to stop. Why do people let their dogs run loose? Izzy strokes Skippy, but he growls and whimpers. Mr. Godfrey comes up to Izzy. Uh, careful, dear. Even the sweetest little animal can bite when it's frightened or in pain. Izzy stands to face Mr. Godfrey. His, her hand has blood on it. Mr. Godfrey takes off his coat. Skippy belongs to my neighbor, Miss Frey. She lives all alone. We can take him to his owner. Izzy watches helplessly as Mr. Godfrey tends to the dog. Later, Mr. Godfrey and Izzy stand on Mrs. Fay's porch. The door opens and Mrs. Fay peers out. Miss Fay, I'm so sorry. Skippy was hit by a car. They drive too fast and don't water for children or little dogs. Uh, Mrs. Fay, I am so sorry. See what happens. This man hits my dog and says, he's sorry. No, Miss Fay, it wasn't him. He, he just carried Skippy home. The door slowly closes on its own. Izzy, the bus! Don't worry, go, go, I'll be fine. Snails always get to where they're going before the sun comes up. The school bus pulls away from the curb and it's... The best hurdlers take three steps between hurdles. Yeah, and they're experienced and tall, <laughs> not 13 years old. All 62 inches of me is going to do it. Is he almost... Give me what I want. Three will put my dust in your teeth. Get more set! Like, more like blood on your knees. Go! The girls spring forward out of their starting blocks and sprint toward the first set of hurdles. Izzy clears her hurdle first. Izzy tries to lengthen her stride in order to take only three steps before the next set of hurdles. She falls short and has to take another quick step before she jumps. She barely clears the hurdle. The other runners are neck and neck with her now. Even touches a girl, she was taken behind the woodshed and whipped! <laughs> I did it to myself. I jumped over a hurdle and fell. Ah, a war wound! Mr. Godfrey hands Izzy a purple rose from a bunch of roses he's holding. It smells better than a purple heart. Izzy accepts the rose and examines it. Wow, I didn't know there were any purple roses. Mr. Godfrey stands beside her now. He pats her shoulder and moves to the nearest exit. Anna would have liked these. Uh, she kept our rose garden in perfect condition. She liked purple. <laughs>